Hello guys, thank you for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to go over um, latency and explain what latency means, network latency means. So let's begin. So latency refers to some type of delay. Typically it refers to transmitting or processing data, which can be caused by a wide variety of reasons. Two examples of latency are network latency and disk latency. Okay, so network latency refers to the delay that takes place during communication over a network, including internet. For example, a slow router may cause a delay of a few milliseconds when one system on a LAN tries to connect to another through the router. So another more noticeable delay may happen if two computers from different continents are communicating over the internet. There may be a delay in simply establishing the connection be because of the distance between the two computers or the numbers, number of hops involved in making the connection. Okay. The ping response time is a good indicator to the latency in this situation. So use the ping command in command prompt to, you know, get a gauge of, um, of the latency, you know. Now the second type of latency I'm going to talk about is disk latency. So disk latency is a delay between the time data is requested from a storage device and when the data starts being returned. Things that cause disk latency is the rotational latency of a hard disk and the seek time. A hard drive with a rotational speed of 5400 RPM, for example, will have almost twice the rotational latency of a drive that rotates at 10,000 RPM. Seek time which involves physical movement of the drive, head-to-head -head or write data can also increase latency. This latency is the reason or cause whenever the hard drive tries to read or correct large numbers of files compared to or if you try to read or write a single con single file. SSDs do not rotate so they have a much lower latency rate. There's no moving parts in the SSD. Other types of latency. Um, oh, things such as, oh sorry, other types of latency exist, such as a RAM latency, aka CS latency. Then you have CPU latency, audio latency, video latency. A common thread, the common thread between all of these is some type of bottleneck that results in a delay. In the computing world, these delays are usually only a few milliseconds, but they can add up to create noticeable slowdowns in performance. Okay, so. It is important that you do not confuse latency with other me me measurements such as data transfer rate or bandwidth. Latency refers to the delay before the data transfer starts rather than the speed of the transfer itself. So thank you for watching this video and if you liked it please comment uh, comment below and like and subscribe. I uh, really appreciate it that you clicked on this video. Um, thank you again and I'll be back with uh, another video soon. Thank you. Bye.